Basically, the main idea that we had was to use a tool to automate uh, configuration that is Chef. Right? That's uh, you know it's it's usually thought about as as using for uh, enterprise kind of things. You know that you automate your your infrastructure. You you you, you put together uh, virtual machines for uh, for your cloud environment. So we're thinking about what we could do uh, with that in in, in our project. Um, and you know basically this is if you would do like an enterprise kind of cloud uh, environment. You could you would have you know chef uh, a series a series of chef chef scripts committed to your, your Git repository, and then your Jenkins would generate using Packer for example would generate uh, the virtual machines the image that you would deploy on the cloud right and so of course this is like the the, the sophisticated cloud thing that you would do on, on an enterprise system and of course we, we didn't have uh, any of that and. So we're trying, but, but we're trying to, to, to replicate some of, some of that. So basically, the idea was to get you know chef scripts that we could use uh, uh, to build the, the Raspberry Pis. And um, and one interesting thing is that we're talking since since we're talking about Java on the cloud, right? The idea is that you know can can we actually do this in more devices, not only the Raspberry Pi? So we had uh, the opportunity that we had a Mino board here that is more powerful than Raspberry Pi. We also had the Gemalto board that's less part than the Raspberry Pi, so we could kind of try to see different things. We 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 didn't we were not able to do all of that, right? That was kind of uh, kind of the idea of, of the product that we want to test it out. So it's a little bit more less uh, less exciting because it's more down to earth uh, uh, things that you would do uh, in, in your in your enterprise, but you know trying to do with the Pi. The the idea was more like you know you have. Um, uh, with those $35 um, uh, machines, right? You could basically have hundreds of those in your house. So once you have hundreds of those in your house, can you actually put an application and, and distribute the application, several of those, of those machines, and have the applications interacting with sensors and things like that? We're just kind of prototyping this. And so the idea was where we, uh, to use one Pi to do uh, uh, like the, the entry, point, entry points, uh, of, of the application, install like a load balancing on it, have the Mino board and another Pi uh, running the applications. We, we didn't get to the Gemalto uh, board uh, and, and actually made, made it work. We just just worked with the Pi and the Raspberry, I mean, and the, the Mino board, right? So basically, in the end, what we had, this is, is a setup that we're just going to quickly demo here. You know, it's having an application running on, on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, that load balances to to two other devices, one Raspberry Pi and Amino board, and each one of them have access to to sensors and and um, you know and actuators and everything. And just just as a demo here, we're just showing the uh, the lights. Uh, you know, simple thing, but trying to get like a a, a, a full develop, development environment, like an enterprise development environment that could work. So. And I think we have to show, oh, yes, we're just going to, oh, okay. and, you know, just a little bit, um, when you're talking about Chef, right, the idea is, so there's, you know, this, this Pedro Carrico here is a, is a guy that has an open source uh, uh, Chef scripts uh, to the Pi. So basically the idea is that, you know, you want to you wanna build that environment and you don't want to uh, connect to every one of your, 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 um, Machines and those hundreds of machines. You don't want to connect to every one of them and configure what they have to have and 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 this kind of thing. So you know you can use an infrastructure infrastructure like Chef that uh, will will basically build uh, you know connect to the to, to the Raspberry Pi um, and and build whatever you need to uh, 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 done there. Right. So there is uh, there are a few projects that that try to do that. They have they put this this uh, enterprise infrastructure into these small devices. Um, this you know just uh, a little bit of what what we could do here, and in the end, oh, you're just gonna run from there. So basically, okay. running we have. Uh, For sure. Are you gonna do that there? Oh. Oh, this is showing. We're trying to do. It. So uh, just to explain the the idea. Oh, okay. Nice. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> 
Uh, we try to make kind of a, a, a private embedded cloud computing environment. So heterogeneous one. So we built a load balancer. Uh, it uh, does not provide auto discovery of the nodes, but we had to configure it by hand. But we had two nodes, a middle board running our application uh, that is connected to the to the to this stripe, and another uh, the same application deployment on a Raspberry running Tomcat 8 connected also connected to this stripe. So it's a uh, uh, oh it's kind of a cluster. We have load balancing. We have failover. In fact, today at the morning it failed. But yes. we kept running. Uh, running. Uh, uh, the, our hasp didn't work, but uh, since uh, it's a failover cluster, the, the minimum bar uh, assumed the, the request, and that's what we're, we're trying to show. Uh, when the minimum board serves a request, we'll, we'll turn on the blue lights, and when the hasp serves, we we'll have the red lights. So, minimum, hasp. If, you are, if I have more than one request, two requests at the same time, both of, or both of the lights are wow. uh, light up. And uh, it's a fail over because if you turn off the Haspi, finish, turn off. Which one? This one, uh, this Haspi. Okay. You can unplug it, yeah. which is what happened today. Yeah. Just the blue. Just the blue. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 